Well, what was this guy? Oh! Yo. So are these like all the victims of that mutant? Why is this man running around on fire? Alright, we are back! To the most painful Lisa in my life. And we have done quite a couple of things. Last time around, we went through this last area here. And we've acquired some of the items needed to build this boat to finally get to Buddy. And one of our main antagonists is no longer a main antagonist. He has now ceased to exist. No longer alive. Was it by our hands, you're asking? Sorry for giving you a hard time. Bye, Bradley. He bullied us, sure. But, um... He didn't seem as evil as Buzzle. And in the end, he asked forgiveness for bullying us, and he killed himself. So, I, I don't know what to make of it. But, one of them is no longer a thing. Now, we're here because I remember this guy. Last time when we talked to him, he said, Toby. And we found Toby in a sauna, a spa, whatever, hosted by Yakuza members. Having a human hostage is a great apocalyptic resource, so let's see what he does with Toby. Toby. What do you want for him? Fight for me, 900 magazines is yours. Well, I'm not a kind person, so... <laughs> we're not gonna just give him up that way. Um, I could get him to join the party. Sure, that's also a good thing, but 900 magazines when you are flat broke? Sounds very good, too. We have enough people, don't we? Ah, fine, we'll pick him up. And you're not gonna hurt Toby? That depends on your word. Chris Ladaddy joined your party. So this would be the next one, and then finally we do the one up top, right? Okay. Is there anything else beyond? No. So the last two pieces that were missing for the boat, I guess, were gonna be these two? Perfect. You're the guy who's always searching for treasure, right? Something must be in here. Yeah. So that means that there's probably a secret hidden somewhere, so you know me, my OCD's gonna go wild. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, that's what he was talking about. We have ourselves another, uh, training dojo. Sweet. This is the toughest dojo yet. Wheezy Silvers, Kung Fu Gauntlet. Can you even handle my doomsday technique? It will ruin you. Destroy you. Totally fuck you up. I'm ready. You think you're mad enough? Yes. You'll regret this, but okay. Proceed. Why, why does he have instant transmission like he's Goku? Must be nice. The hell is this? <laughs> what, what's happening here? What, what is this, The Simpsons? Gosh, you are worthy. I got a karate scroll. Make sure you read it. I shall. As a matter of fact, we'll do that now. The Doomsday Style Scroll. It's written in an oriental language. It must be authentic. Increases everything. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Bradley. All right, so down below here, finally, here's our exit from this place, and... Ooh, that's a <laughs> creepy-looking area. I would say, like, is there blood in the trees? But it actually looks like the trees themselves are bleeding. I think there's a trees anyway, like the... Like they were cut, right? And now, like, you know how when we were doing the race thing with Columbo, I mentioned the patch mode? Now this here sounds like the cure. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not ups I'm not upset about it. I love the cure. I love the patch mode. So this is well, now it kind of lost the cure type of thing. But it started off like the cure, maybe a little bit of Joy Division, maybe something along those lines. Either way, let's continue going up here and. I'm not sure what to make of all this here. Oh. A man showed up out of nowhere and attacked me. You weren't even on the screen, were you? Blood Mountain! Oh, I see. You're a Native American. Of course. Blood Mountain. It's a fairly Native American name. Are you a tough guy or are you just like a, a random mob enemy around here? Oh, Carpy! Carpy, when he's not going through those withdrawals, he's such a freaking baller, man. Oh my goodness! God, 10,000 crit! He birthed her, he will have her. Alright, so over here at the very top, we have presumably a boss fight, more than likely. Proudly the leader of all these blood people we ran into thus far. 
So what have we picked up from the story? He burnt her so we shall have her. He will make you dance and you've already met him. So that's what we kind of have here in terms of the story of significance for this. All right, let's see what we got here. The painted sky should tell you everything. She does not belong to you. This is the last Blood Moon tree. And I shall not let you take her. Hmm. So, literally, he's talking about the tree. But, you know, because there's a lot of, like, you know, story lore significance going on, it's kind of like a comparison to what we're doing as well, trying to find Buddy. Alright, so who is um, this fellow? He's the bloodiest wolf, of course. Of course he is. Now, are you a tough guy? Well, luckily for me, I'm not going to withdraw, so I'm going to light that ass up, and Birdie can indeed spit. You're going to go ahead and just super puke and get him hit up with every sort of thing you can. Poison him too, and gasoline speed. Let's see an idea of how tough this guy's gonna be. Paralyze them blind. Oh my god. Okay. So if we can get paralyzed, this is gonna be a fairly easy boss fight for us. Weak point. We even got poison on him. Oh my goodness. Got 2,000 per turn. Yeah, this is gonna probably go by really quickly at this point. It's not looking too good for... Yeah, he's just dead now. That was a fairly easy boss fight. I think it took like four turns, really. You are not needed in this tale. I know that has a significance to us. I know it does. We are not needed in this tale. Okay, so let's see here. Everybody level up a carp? Any new skills? No. Perfume, empty bottle, no magazines. There he goes, and this is probably what we need for the boat, huh? Chop down the tree. Unfortunately, I gotta do it. You got some fine wood. And everything's now changed. And the music's gone too. Oh, I kind of just want to warp back as I'm a lazy boy, but I'm kind of curious if anything else down here has changed. So let's see. No, Birdie, so. <laughs> I mean, Birdie drunk. I mean, that never changes, right? No, no changes whatsoever, unfortunately. So it just. The music just went away, and we definitely. That's an overall change to the scenery, but that was about it. Alright, so we have three of the four items required to build this boat. So this right here should probably end as the last one. I should also mention as well, with the last video, I believe people told me... Um, in the comments, something about the Green Ranger. Which is true, I don't remember seeing the Green Ranger when we ran into that whole Ranger slaughter for us that they turned mutants or whatever. So I think the Green Ranger might still be out and about somewhere. And I was also told to, whenever I build a boat, to make sure that Tardy's in my party, so that him and his brother could have a certain interaction, so thanks a lot for that. I'll definitely do that. Or the Green Ranger one, I mean, if you know exactly where he's at, just let me know. I'm not sure where in the world he is. He's like Carmen San Diego to me. Uh, I know this gave us something, but I just can't find it. Oh, we're doing this again, huh? Okay. Well, I found the other one last time. I'll find this one, too. Aha! Ha 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 ha! Alright, so that was all for the hidden goods. We are now outside. Look at this, we're in Snow World. There's even a snowman right there. Okay, we're all cleared up and good to go. Let's see what I... <laughs> I was gonna say, what's the... Let's see, what... What torture device awaits us here and... They're... They're suicidal football men. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's probably a best idea for me to get off of this bike, because it gives me more speed, so... But at the same time, it also lets me react faster to get away from him, right? Let's just take it very slow. How about that? How, how close do I gotta be for this to affect me or not? Okay. He stopped over there. Nobody's gonna attack me from this one. We're fine here. Aye, aye, aye. That one, I think, would have blown my my ass. Smithereens! Stop it! You mad men? I, I, I wonder... I imagine you can't even fight him, right? Can you? I doubt it. Not that I want to. Huh. If they're gonna blow themselves up, that's fine. He's gonna make sure I don't get into the... Radius? Oh, that was close. That was a close one. There's snowmen now, so... The hell? Ah! This man popped out a gun. He's hiding in the snowman. And he shot me. Who is this? Armed snow... No, that's not who he is. There's somebody hiding in the snowman. You see, he's got a human hand. The snowman's true identity is revealed. Look at that. Who is that man? Who is he? 
Ooh, Carp's no longer into withdrawals. Perfect. Oh, he's dead already. I can't even find out who he is. He died. They died really fast. Okay. Well, at least there's that. Perfume, domestic jerky. I gave you some pretty good drops. Terrible when it comes to the money, but at least there's some pretty good healing items there. So the, the snowmen are not going to shoot me, and we have to fight the snowmen along the way. Oh, before we do that... What the hell is this? I can't make out what that is. What is this? Is that a purse? I'm sorry, Mast. I didn't mean to make you m m mad. Is that... I guess, like, if his face is all jacked up, is that, um, the guy from our flashback when we were teaching, um, karate and dropping joy and then we saw the kid, like, spying on us and then we were like, hey, you can join for free? It looks like him, right? His face is all weird, but he's calling you master as well. He's got. That's probably who that was. All right. Well, that's good because now it gives us a little bit more of the background information. Or whoever that might be. Or why we are, we, we are... All right, so we have gone through the suffering of the snowmen. We have guys over there. Oh, there's a toolbox. Oh, that's what we needed for the the boat, the toolbox. And we have a safe spot, so we probably have a boss fight coming up now. All right, let's see about this situation here. Giving me the old ellipses, huh? Hey. Boss, it's him! <laughs> this guy looks like a big shot. He's even got, like, spikes on his arm or shoulder things. I'll be dipped. You're the guy kicking everyone's ass for that chick? God damn. This is more bullshit than that bum call in 82. <laughs> Those dang North City Lions. You tell them. You don't look so tough. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Let's get him, gang. Oh. By the way. I used to play college ball. And I dig my cleats deep, bucko. What is he supposed to be like, Al Bundy or something? <laughs> Pokai! Five touchdowns in one single game. Well, that was high school. This guy, uh, I guess it's not supposed to be Bud Bundy, or Al Bundy. Because Al was high school. He never actually made it to college. This guy is college ball. Okay, whatever. Alright, what do we got here? A lot of boys? So you know what, when I see a lot of boys, what I do? I slide and try to knock everybody down. And you're gonna pretty much do the same thing. And Carpy Carp. Carp poison this guy in the back, who worries me a bit. And then you're just gonna swig away. Fallen. Fallen. Crying. Punch through your slag as he paw me in the face. Failed to poison? Come on, Carp. Fallen. Aha! Well, at least they're all falling now. The damage was low, but at the very least, everybody's down. So now that we've done that, it is uh, it's time for us to unleash some of the old fireballs here. Butch irons. You know what? Let's, let's go after boss man. And then Carpy, you could just continue, or not Carpy, Fly could continue his cart slamming. And Carp, maybe now you could do what you're supposed to do, and then you're gonna gasoline spit the boss. There we go. Oh, you're down already. Well. I'm surprised they're going down that simple. Where, where's my boys? Get it together. Pick up the defense. There's no more boys left. The poison and the fireball should be enough at this point. Another one. Oh, son of a bitch. That's it. What happened? Oh, what the hell was that? You boys are on a constant fuck streak. How can we ball if we can't even wrestle down this guy? Uh, sorry, sorry, buff. Sorry my ass, softy. You're all cut. You. Bold guy. Your teamwork is on point. I'm flying your colors from now on. Oh, and by the way, I'm taking my damn toolbox with me. You got a toolbox full of tools. And Buffalo Van Dyke has joined the party. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. The old late stampedes died today. I'm gonna miss fixing up old cars and tossing the pigskin around. <laughs> Don't cry, Red. Don't cry. Let's get through this. <laughs> Bob! Alright, well, we got a toolbox. 
I'm gonna see if there's something behind him, but let me save here first. Alright, buddies, let's see if there's anything behind- Oh, there is. There absolutely is something behind you. Is that a hand? You see that over there? It looks like a hand. Well, I thought we were done because we already have the tool. I mean, we're technically... Could just warp back. But there might be some, like, goods here. Is that... That's a face, right? Those are arms and that's a face. I can't interact with it. That's totally a face, though. Alright. Well, there's something afoot over here, obviously. Yeah, those are totally faces. There's an item over here, too. Well, whatever's up here, at least it'll be worth it for the- Ah! Oh, this is no good. This is no good. I... I didn't even have time to restore my SP and stuff. Oh... Peter. Just Peter? Should I know it, Peter? Alright, well, whatever. Let's do Fireball and Super Puke. Carpy, Trop Poison. And once you poison, I'm gonna have you heal up um, the SP on Fly. And you, Gasoline Spit. Luckily, that's already available right after- Oh, he's already poisoned! Perfect! But maybe if we hit him with poison again, I guess he gets, like, deep poison or something like that? No, he's already poisoned. No withdrawal! He missed. Very good. So you Super Slam card, you Fever River, and then you... Drop the SP on fly. There we go. 249. One, yeah, it's very low damage altogether. Yeah. And we'd have to get a couple of crits in there. Like, each one of those hits would be a crit. Then we'd be in good business there. Um, though he's not too difficult. There is that, so that's kind of helping out. Let's try Hectic Waver, I guess. And you go back to swinging in case the oil goes down. 578. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, I was worried about nothing. I didn't even- I think we even have to drop that SP item on fly, but whatever. 6,000 experience, that's a lot. Card Slam 4. Perfect. Fever River 3. Alright. Well, what was this guy? Oh! Yo. Oh! Oh! What the hell's that? <laughs> We're not out of the woods yet, boys. So are, they, are these like all the victims of that mutant? Why is this man running around on fire? Are we okay? Eh, I could probably use an item on carp just to be on the safe side. Man, who is this flaming man? <laughs> no kidding. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna be doing this man a, a service right now by killing him, because he can't be... He can't be having a good time being Flaming Man. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think Fireball's gonna work on you. So, uh, instead, let's go for maybe a stun. Let's go Cart Slam 4. Try the new attack here, and you are going... <laughs> I guess Drunk Stumble. I just don't see a point in... ...using fire attacks on him. Carpy? Yeah, like, if we had some crit... Like, you know, boost with a carp. Like, if we had Terry in the party... Oh, he's already dead. Oh. Well, if we had Terry in the party to get carp's crits up, each one of those hits could be a crit, and then you're stacking up the damage. Well. Um, I guess we gotta fall to get that item that we saw, right? Yeah, 500, that's a lot, but so be it. You found a homer bat. And overall, just, I guess, the... Oh, we have more items here. Maybe, hopefully. The nest of Peter in general. Pump some water. Oh, sweet. Alright. Yeah, I guess that was just Peter's nest. Bunch of bodies up there. I mean, it seemed fishy once you were seeing, like, the faces in the snow and the arms and everything. And that's about it. Alright, well... I guess next episode, which is about a time here. Next episode, we give the items to Farty, or Farty's brother, I believe. Whatever his name is. And we're off for Buddy. And I guess, would that be the finale? I don't know. Let me know if I'm missing something right now. I think we have to build a boat and then it's the finale. So let me know if there's something that I should... Oh, there's the wrestling thing too, huh? Mm. Is that story related or is it just for characters? Well, I'll figure out what we should be doing. Let me know in the comments if there's like some sort of like thing I should be following right now. But I think we're ready for the finale. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it this far. Stick around for the next episode. I'll catch you guys next time.